Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we're going to make a beautiful skillet breakfast using one old iron pan. Y'all stay tuned. Well, uh, as you can probably hear, my voice still has not... Uh, Completely recovered. We wanted to go camping this weekend back over to Fort DeSoto. If you guys uh, want to check that video out uh, from our last episode, I'll put the end screen uh, right up there for you to check that out. I uh, wanted to go back. Weather turned nasty. Uh, blew through here last night. Uh, most of the south is covered in snow. Uh, not here, but it's cold, windy, rainy. So we're kind of stuck on the porch. So Figured, hey, we're going to be stuck on the porch and it's going to be cold. There's no better thing to do for me than to show you guys some great cast iron and Dutch oven cooking. Some of you guys have been asking about the garden. So here you go. We have uh, already planted a nice row of pok choy there. We started these from seed that we saved last year. We have a ton of those. Uh, some of those we can use for microgreens. We have another container full. Over here, you know, we had a hard time getting these guys to come up and then the they still came up pretty spotty. Uh, we got some green beans there. Uh, just in time for the chance of frost tomorrow night. So we may have to cover those up. Uh, usually doesn't stay cold long here, but we do have to occasionally cover things that are frost uh, prone. And over here we have some red cabbage. We transplanted these over here uh, about a week ago. And they've been just waiting for some rain. We were hoping we were going to get more rain than we did but maybe got a half an inch so anyway that's the start of our winter garden which is uh, all, always our best garden I'm going to set up two zones on the sportsman's grill. I'll have one more moderate amount of heat over on this side and a hotter zone on this side. The way we have a safety area if our pan starts to get too hot. So we're going to have a little rocking there, but we're just going to have to live with that. Hey guys, here's the thing you're going to need, the things you're going to need for this dish. This is three diced white potatoes, Seminole Swamp seasoning, half a medium onion, some uh, sliced uh, smoked sausage, some regular ground pork breakfast sausage, some chopped thick cut bacon, a lime, and some fresh eggs. You're also going to need a lid to fit your pan. This is uh, a newer Lodge um, cast iron lid that fits my Griswold and almost all of my pans this size perfectly. As always, first thing in, our friend Bacon. I may have to open this damper door up, but we'll, we'll take it up easy. We don't want it to get too hot. The damper door is completely closed on the sportsman's grill right now. Okay, sometimes you have to adjust things on the fly, and that's what we're doing right now. Wasn't getting uh, the heat I wanted out of this thing with it with the grill on its legs. So this is uh, if you didn't know this already about the sportsman's grill, you can flip the whole thing over and lay it flat. It falls right into the notch there, and all we did was move our coals to the middle. So now we got a new place to put our pan, and it's going to be much closer to the heat. Uh, we're fixing to put those cold potatoes in there. I know it's going to draw a lot of heat out. Plus, it's in the 50s and the winds blow. You see, I have my windscreen set up here. We probably wouldn't be able to do this at all without this uh, windscreen and maybe a future episode. Leave me a comment down in, a, in the comment section if you want me to teach you how to make this uh, cheap and easy. So, I'm sure you guys can hear the rain outside. That's hampering uh, our heat. And, you know, it's 100% humidity out. So, Probably gonna have to, you know, we're getting our pan a little closer to the fire. Charcoal's not gonna burn quite as hot when it's 100% humidity out and it's cold. Uh, 
right at 50 degrees right now. So you're gonna have to adjust these things as you go. But knowing how to do that uh, is most of the battle. Shall we begin? I am using a wooden tool. This is actually bamboo. Works better than wood, I think. Okay, that's our first stir. Now we're gonna go in with our uh, with our pork breakfast sausage. We'll let that kind of chop that up and let that start to render down a little bit. Kind of want to wait till like, you first stir to, to put this in. That all kind of chopped up in there. Our heat is running perfect now. We'll mix that all through. Put back on. I go another five or six minutes. I wish you guys could smell this. It's been about another five or six minutes. Let that uh, juice from under the lid. You know, it's got these little basting points here. And they're made to catch the steam and make it drip back off in there. You need that moisture to help cook your potato. We're going to give it another little stir. You need to do this often to keep the, the fawn from the potatoes, the starch from the potatoes, coming up off the bottom of your pan. I'm using quite a bit of pressure on the tool to get down there. That's one of the reasons I like to use my best seasoned pan for cooking potatoes like this. Okay, so those are looking good. Now we're going to go on in with our smoked sausage. This is a, kind of a meat lover's breakfast here. And our onions. Now also, if you're going to use <clears throat> these guys, put them in now. Okay, um, Mrs. Backwoods, as if you follow me, you know that she hates green peppers. So we're going to save them for a little closer to the end where I can kind of keep them on my side of the pan. Another five or six minutes. for the last time. See all of our potatoes are getting nicely brown. The sausage, the bacon, everything is rendered. So we want to spread it out in a nice even layer. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take my lime and give that just a squeeze all over. 
Lime and potatoes is something that's really special. And I'm going to put some uh, green peppers over here on this side. I'm not going to stir it anymore. Put the lid back on. I'll let that steam in that lime juice for just a minute. Wow, it smells good. Okay, last step. We're going to break our eggs right over top. Here we're probably going to use four, but you can use as many as you think. We might use all five. These are right here from our, uh, from our little micro farm. Our chickens. Give that just a, a couple of minutes uncovered and then we'll put the lid back on and that'll help to cook the yolks. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Try to plate it up special. I put a little similar swamp seasoning right on the uh, plate there, and it's been also a kind of a standard operating procedure that Mrs. Backwoods gets the display plate, and we know uh, she doesn't like peppers, so we're going to go over here and get the side that has no green peppers. eggs on there. Just a tiny bit of Seminole Swamp bread on top just for some color on the eggs. We got a twist of lime, a little piece of cilantro. There you go. It's a cast iron skillet breakfast. Backwoods Gourmet style. are always asking us to taste what we made let us know how it is well I don't know what I can tell you eggs perfect uh, you know medium steaming hot this is the one with the peppers um I know you can't trust what people say about their own cooking. That's some good stuff right there. Mm. I guess the one thing I want to thank all you guys for is uh, allowing us to come out here and do this for you uh, just about every week. Uh, thanks for everybody who supported us over on the Amazon site also. A lot of you guys went over there and ordered this Sportsman's Grill. Uh, I know you're going to love it. Or I wouldn't have put it up there. I tell you, if you're going to make this, don't forget the lime. And it's, you know, a little squeeze 
on top after it's all done just brightens all the flavors I guarantee you you make this a cap it's gonna be a huge hit Thanks for watching the Backwoods Gourmet. If you like what we're doing, hit that subscribe button right over there. To check out the video from Fort DeSoto Park, check it out right up here. Hey, and for more Sportsman's Grill videos, check them out right up here. We'll see you next time. To see that video from somewhere where we went and uh, did some cooking, uh, 